All right, y'all. I was just on YouTube about 20 minutes ago when I was watching Sneaker YouTube, my feed or whatever, and uh, I saw Bull, Bull at RC, and he's coming back and uh, kind of motivated me to do this video. Just without further ado, let's get it. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Mr. Entertainment, bringing y'all this super high def and always going to be one of the best ultra 4K entertainment videos on YouTube when it comes to sneakers. I know how I get down. And uh, I wanted to do this video for a little while now. Now, I will say I held off on doing this video because there was another grail that I wanted to add to this collection and I tried them on well I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about it the turtle doves I almost got the turtle doves the other day and they just didn't look right in a size 12 like they don't give you that that iconic bird's eye view of a Yeezy I don't know what it is in a size 12 don't look good every other size under 12 maybe 11 looks dope in my opinion I just couldn't pull a trigger on something that I did not think didn't look right on my foot but this grill right here is still another backstory to this one now y'all know request boutique out there in Greensboro North Carolina they posted a picture of the lemonades if that's what you want to call them those bright yellow off-white Air Force One. It was in a size 12, decent price. I had a mega trade for the shoe, but it was a choice between this shoe, if it didn't fit, or this one right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have the Shattered Backboard 1.0s. Hit the B-roll. This is one of those ones. I'm so happy I made this decision instead of the Air Force Ones. This is probably the best Jordan one ever made. Best Jordan one ever made. The quality on this shoe is just ridiculous. I wanted to bring this to you guys because y'all know my 4K is retarded. Y'all already know what it is. So when I do this with the shoe, y'all start seeing all sorts of stuff that you probably never thought you'd see before, right? Since I got this shoe, I think I've worn it like three or four times. It's a dope shoe, super comfortable. I love the fact that I really can't even crease it because of how comfortable the leather is. And I think I made a really good decision going with this shoe rather than anything else at the time and still currently. But when I first first hopped into sneakers back in 2017, um, I think the Royal Blue Jordan 1s had just dropped and me and my girl at the time, my girlfriend right now, we did not see what people thought about that shoe. We were just like, eh, whatever. I didn't understand the iconic cult following that Jordan 1 had, you know what I mean? And I just kept hearing this same thing over and over. Every new sneaker that came out, man, I wonder if this shoe has a shattered backboard quality. I wonder if this shoe has a shattered backboard quality. I'm like, what are they talking about? But I also hear it's same as the shell backboard quality. I don't have a pair of shell backboard quality, so I can't compare. I'm gonna give you guys a quick comparison between the shattered backboard Jordan ones. Everybody talk about the quality on these. They dope. They not quite, you know, SBB. We not finna go into the whole shattered backboard. Compare shoes that when I got them in hand or later on down the road was like, nah, these aren't shattered backboard material. The leather on the toe is tumbled and it is relatively soft, but it's definitely not as soft as some leathers that you find in other Air Jordan 1s, like the shattered backboard. A lot of people asked me, is it shattered backboard? People were comparing this to the shattered backboard. Like, it's like, oh, it's not Chris shattered backboard quality. It's not really shattered backboard quality. And then you had other people be like, yeah, it's up there with shattered, uh, shattered backboard quality. And then you had the other people to be like, oh yeah, it's way better than shattered backboard quality. What about, what about it be? What about, what about it be? You know, don't that stupid shit. So of course I've done my research and these popped up. Finally, you know, once I found the shoe in a store or whatever, I was able to put my hands on it and see what everybody was talking about. Now, since then, Jordan brand has came out with sneakers with all different types of leather. You got the regular, flat, kind of hard, plasticky feel leather. You got patent leather, you know what I mean? I think this is like the third or fourth variation of a Jordan 1 high they did in patent leather also. Then there was this shoe shoe right here. Y'all remember the sale Jordan 1? Like it was part of that Essentials pack where it dropped a black version, just all black with the red on the Nike Air and then this one that was all sale. The quality on this shoe was just insane. Now, I did some research and I found that there is a coating, a, a, a layer of um, leather or maybe some sort of material that they put on the sneaker for protection, I'm assuming. And that's why you still get a more plasticky feel on a lot of these Jordan 1s. As you can see right here, here on this toe box, this is insane. Like, 
I wore it one day and it rained and it changed colors. Like it was almost like it's missing a coating or something. So I don't think that Jordan brand purposely tried to make this leather different. Although I do think because of this sneaker being themed as in the other Jordan one that Jordan brand has ever really themed the bands with the X in the back. This is themed around the shattered backboard also because you have that shattered backboard on your insole. So maybe they did try to do something a little different and not add that coating and give us this super soft leather. Whatever the case may be, I have it in my possession. This is a sneaker grail. I've done this before where I had the Travis Scott Air Force Ones and I wanted to show you guys I had these. And this is just one of those ones. Like if you ever have a chance to touch or feel this shoe, I now understood what everybody was talking about. Does this have that shattered backboard quality? Nothing does, nothing in my collection has shattered backboard quality. Nothing. I have a lot of soft leather sneakers in my collection. Nothing feels like this. This is dope. So leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel because I am your boy, Mr. Attainment. Just had to show y'all this quick pickup. Y'all know what it is. And I'm still bringing y'all this 4K super high def, crispy entertainment for you. Renew what entertainment, y'all. Peace.